All right, Virgo, you've got soulmate, soul connection, partnership agreement, soul contract. Now I was talking about that just recently. Let's take a look and see. You got a soul contract with someone or someone you're connecting to has a soul contract with somebody else. Okay. The Empress, Libra, Taurus, Energy. Ooh. Five of Pentacles. Hmm. Feeling left out in the cold. Okay. <clears throat> yeah. So I do feel like this is a continuation because it did mention soul contract in the previous reading. Um, so there is a there is a soul contract with someone. Okay. Someone very nice looking, very abundant, dresses very well very nurturing type of an energy but there's something here that's not happening the magician in the reverse unfortunately is like wasting time someone feels like they are wasting time with another person you know soul contracts are not always meant to be happily ever afters um we have a soul contract with someone and they have a they're not indefinite they have a they have a term limit on them so i feel like um could be a gemini i do feel like there's a situation here where yes we are soulmates yes we um yes we have a lot of things in common we have a tendency to understand one another very well um we have this like energy of we 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 mesh we mesh very well However, something's not going forward. Something's not moving forward here, okay? Maybe it's not meant to be a romantic relationship. Maybe it's meant to be only a friendship. Okay, so let me see. Okay, wow, temperance. Huh, made a cup. Somebody wanted... Virgo, is it you who's like, no? Are you either coming to terms that this that there's a relationship that isn't meant to, you know, some of you might be coming to terms in this month that there's a relationship here that just doesn't seem like it's going to be anything more. Um, but it looks like somebody else wants it to be more, the Knight of Cups. I mean, they offer this romantic cup, but then at the same time, it's, I feel like there might be somebody, Sagittarius, another Virgo, Taurus, I said that already, or Capricorn. I feel like there's somebody that whenever there's that Five of Pentacles energy where there's like abandonment or someone's really not available to meet the needs um, or when there's like a, like a time apart, that's when another person comes in and offers their love. And it's almost like a lack of consistency i feel like is what's going on here i feel like it's what is going on here okay someone's trying to come towards you virgo and maintain some kind of balance keep the pace moderate moderate temper the relationship or just kind of like be more consistent and i feel like I do feel like perhaps you might have gone to this place where you're like, you know what? I'm too good for this. It's just not going anywhere. It's it's not manifesting. It's scattered. I'm wasting my resources, my time, my energy, my feelings on someone. And then as soon as you walk away, it they come back in and they want to try to keep things on even keel here with you. Okay? So... You might be trying to end something with someone and it's difficult for you because you keep coming back with this Knight of Cups. But understand that, you know, Knight of Cups is like a proposal. It's like when someone gets down on their knee and they propose, and I'm using this just, you know, hypothetically, or, or when they just ask another person to marry them, for example, um, that's only done one time. And that's what the Knight of Cups is. It's, it's 
you only have that experience one time and that's why everybody records it they want it for the you know history they want it they want it to be remembered you know um the knight of cups is like in do it once and then it's done and i feel like you have someone here who's making a love offer to you of some sort it could be a proposal they could be offering you know that you know that whole ring scenario um but they also could just be coming in very romantic trying to reestablish uh or rebalance a relationship with you but you're here the queen of pentacles in the reverse is often the card of someone who's very dependent and for some of you might be very financially dependent and you might say yes to someone um due to your financial situation that's not all of you but some of you might okay i i will say this like the good news is, for those of you that want it, there is an offer for sure coming in in February. Okay. Um, some of you, you know, you might not have a relationship established with someone if that's the case. Some of you just decided, you know, our will decide here in, in maybe the beginning of February that, you know, you're just going to focus on your abundance and all the great things you have going on for you. And not try to force a manifestation with anything or anyone. You're just, you know, you maybe you've been through relationships in the past and you just don't pan out or someone's just a scrub, whatever. Or you just keep meeting a bunch of adults and it's just not working. Um, so you focus on your own energy, making yourself like your main priority. And, you know, a soulmate comes in, okay? makes a love offer here so i just want to give a shout out to the singles here that february is the month of love go ahead and book your reading with me link is in the description box if you want to get a valentine's reading um okay the devil in reverse you've got the six of swords in the reverse four of wands in the upright 11 11 Hmm. I feel like the person who's coming in, and I'm going to just give it to you straight. This love offer that they're making, um, this kind of feels like this person, it's not, um, how can I say this? I'm going to just tell you straight up. Okay, this, this person coming in here, um, they want they want to build a foundation of fun with you okay they don't they're not getting attached they're not gonna get it they're not like trying to they're not obsessed they're not um for some of you they just want fun but for others they're having a hard time leaving an abusive relationship that they might have been in before they're struggling with that okay it's 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 hard because the six and the six of swords in the reverse is always someone who's unable to move on or they have you know uh they're stagnant okay um to come and try to have something serious so because of that any interaction with you yes they make these love offers but you need to know that this person the way they come in with this um, Knight of Cups, this romantic offer, is it's very fluid. It's not stable. I mean, if it was a Knight of, of Pentacles, then I would say, hey, looks good. But yeah, it's, it's just a romancer. I feel like someone's a bit of a romancer. Even though they would like to have a long, like, like to, to build that house, quote unquote, with you. I feel like Mm, it's like hmm, either it's too soon for something to happen or this person is just with the devil reverse they're focusing more um on trying to get out of a bad situation okay that they may be in some kind of abusive scenario or situation trying to recover from that you know so they can't really give the full that you might want if you meet them could be a capricorn like i said uh, a Gemini, they can't really give you the full um, cornucopia. But there will be a lot of communication. You will find this person is very curious, asking a lot of questions of you. Hmm. Eight of 
swords reversed. Now that's interesting. I do feel like um, this. Yeah, this person is definitely trying to release themselves from a very heavy burden, and it might be another relationship with someone, uh, romantic or whatever it might be, or they're just under some kind of pressure or other commitments. Okay, they can't give too too much, um, but they are they are interested in you, Virgo. They do. They I, they I see them trying to learn as much as they can about you understanding try to understand you more very curious watching you that's for sure seeking truth okay this is interesting virgo your readings are always so interesting is it a soulmate yes can it be more yes is it a soul contract that has a term limit on it possibly you know it's it's hard to tell but soulmate is soulmate and it means that they're there is a commonality that you and this person will have when you get when you begin talking if you're not already talking but i don't see you trying to manifest anything at this time with the magician in the reverse i feel like you're trying to recollect all your scattered energy as far as what you need to do for yourself which makes it's kind of like you know you know that popcorn blows up all over the kitchen you know um the only thing i think you're focused on is getting all that popcorn up off the floor and that's all scattered everywhere you're trying to clean it up you know you're trying to clean up things in your life um put all the pieces together organize figure out you know what you're doing and, and here's somebody coming in who's not quite ready to give to you fully or to have that stable they are trying to build it but they can't they're not giving themselves over to you fully just yet but they are interested and they will be romantic towards you you will get some romantic offers from them and they're definitely interested they think you're very attractive and very sexy and, the, and it looks like this person is interested but they i do see them they're trying to definitely get out of something they might have been a victim in an abusive relationship or something or that i don't see that they played the victim i don't feel like this person's coming in with like this damsel in distress energy like help me help me get me off this tr uh train track you know i don't feel like they're they're doing they're not the, they're not the person who I, I don't see them placing themselves on the train track and then you know then crying wolf you know what i mean like it's like dude you put yourself there <laughs> you can get yourself out of it i don't see this person doing that which is good okay um i see this person is trying to have hope they're trying to liberate themselves or release something the burden whatever this burden might be but they got their eye on you and they're definitely interested um there could be an issue with a child or something attached to school or parenting or co-parenting there there might be something there that um with the three of pentacles in the reverse is yeah uh, no support you know lack of support they may not be getting child support they may um maybe they're trying to pay their child support back if they have kids and they owe that um but i feel like they're they, they have there's something to do with ch with children or a child or school um they're on, they're doing it on their own okay or they have their half that they're doing and it's it, that might be the stressful energy there that they can't commit they might have a child or someone uh, a, a youngster that they're caring for that has issues or they're just dealing with uh, something like that it's a lot going on usually in the, in the operate the three of pentacles is teamwork two people like setting out a plan and working for the benefit of you know someone else uh, like a child or a school school age child or even like they could be in college you know, whatever it might be but they have they, they they're they're pretty much on their own i don't feel like they have help from another for like the co-parenting thing isn't working out okay so nine of wands in the reverse nine of cups in the reverse yeah things aren't going too well for them. Oh my gosh i'm not laughing but this feels to me like why this person cannot fully commit to you or you know even be a family with you or move in with you or have a, a stable happy home i know this is so this is not very i don't feel like this is negative i feel like you have connected or, or, or if you haven't already you will be connecting with a soulmate um or, or talking or meeting this person you could be now but it feels like it's not time yet to kind of like move forward together um
Yeah, I kind of feel like someone is, um, there's someone here that's paranoid. I'm hearing pa someone's paranoid. Hmm, like really paranoid. And maybe they've gained weight or they've gotten lazy and they're looking for a quick, quick result to a situation. I don't know what that has to do with anything, but someone is just not trusting. So that might be why they're very curious about you and trying to find out. Um, what type of a person you are or will be trying to find out what kind of a person you are I feel like some of you are already talking to this person this is why this I keep saying like the present tense words and for those of you that are okay coming forward yeah that's still kind of the same energy now is this the person that we were just talking about from the past or the past reading the, the first one that I did yeah it could be you know, because there were some issues there with the not today, um, where there was someone here that it seemed like they were trying to be done with someone else. And they're still going through it, even though they know you're a soulmate. Okay, so yeah, I kind of feel like that is what is playing out. Let's see if we can get some initials. All right, so we have someone September 22nd, we have initial P. Um, we have 59, age or birth year. We have the letter N, the letter A, hmm. August 31st. Um, someone, did you just wake up from a nap? Or someone's waking up from a nap or about to go get a nap? Or someone likes to nap? I guess if you're 59, <laughs> you probably do like naps. Um, let's see. Okay, you've got the letter A. Someone's in Panama. There's a connection to Panama. We have the letter C, the letter I, and the letter O, okay? So these could be someone's initials. I'm just hearing Anthony. They're telling me Anthony, Paola. Uh, someone's name, I'm hearing Kane. That's a cool name, someone's name is Kane. 1987, we have 64. Mm. Um, someone likes to go camping. Uh, someone might be using a cam. You might talk to this person like on a face cam. Okay, let's see if we can get a sign here. A zodiac sign for who this could be. All right, we've got Capricorn again. Keep showing up. An Aquarius. Leo and Taurus again. It could be this person or whoever they're dealing with. Um, Aries and Taurus. Let me just get another. Scorpio and Capricorn once again. Capricorn's showing up in your readings lately, I feel. All right, let's get a charm for Virgo and see. Oh, okay. Okay. Some of you, I will just put this together. Prosperity, financial prosperity is coming to you. I feel like you need to know that um, it doesn't I don't know it doesn't really have much to do with the reading unless this person's extremely wealthy and something works out which it eventually will um, but an elephant is very significant to someone and the pentacle this is not um, I feel like people think this pentacle is satanic it's not it's it's the it's the earth sign pentacle okay so you know maybe you're gonna spend a lot of money maybe you're buying an elephant who knows or some ivory um, some of you might be taking a trip, a safari trip, too, coming up. But um, I feel the strongest message here with these two charms is that there is prosperity coming to you. And um, it feels like, because it's one pentacle, it feels like some of you are going to be receiving an offer for a new job, a raise, promotion. You have new income going to be coming into you. Um, an investment that you make will be prosperous. I feel like I need to tell you that. I mean, because, hey, we're Virgos. We like to know about the money and business, right? Um, as far as this whole relationship goes, let me just take a look and see what the outcome or advice is for you, Virgo, with this scenario. Outcome or advice for Virgo. Okay. Ooh, you got the world in the reverse. That's a card about permanence. Um... 
Uh, I'm hearing hold the line, Virgo. <laughs> stay grounded. Stay steady. There's no need to walk away. I feel like something with this person is going to be very nice. Work out. Um, you may need to give patience. Um, if you find that you have an interest in this person or there's something that you sense that soulmate connection that has an opportunity or a chance to go forward it looks like you may need to just there's on there's still some lessons to be learned so it's a soul contract it, it's term limit it's not up you might you might want it to be up because there's not much of this person giving to you and you might have a need or be in a rush um if but if you are kind of like sitting on the fence about it as far as like okay you may so they're saying, I wouldn't walk away just yet. That's the message. Um, but do keep your options open because you don't want to pin your hopes on a, on a possibility. You know what I mean? Or a, not even a probability. Don't pin your hopes on any potentials ever. <laughs> All right. Hey, you guys. Thank you so much for watching my readings. If you'd like to get a personal reading, please feel free to click the link in the description box below to go ahead and follow that link and book your reading. Please remember to book, subscribe, like, do all the great things. Um, and I hope that you guys have a fantastic, blessed, loving, and light-filled life.